this ass video tutorial on testing for constant variance for regression. Then we're going to use simple linear regression here. Uh, we're using the Sydney Hobart.txt data, which can be found in the repository in the link below. We're going to pick up where we left off on our last video where we were testing for normality and learning how to get the residuals out of ProcReg. But now we've got that set up. So you can see that I've got the Sydney Hobart imported into the race data set over here and I'm going to run this regression which will create a new data set called race out that we created over here in the work directory and we will have the residuals in it so that we can do other tests with it so we're going to run this first notice that uh, the regression ran we come over to explore we see race out race out has the predicted value and the residual which is what we're interested in are the residuals now what we want to do is create the uh what's called often called the broich pagan test so i'll try to write this down here and hopefully i spell it right um, so here we go and the idea is is you would square the residuals because residuals have positive and negative values in it we would want to square that but that would also mean we'd want to square the model that we're using so we're going to have to add a little bit extra to this so the important thing here is we're going to have to do a data step in between. So I'm going to call this race out, if I can spell it right, two. Okay, the set we're going to get is race out. And what we're going to do is we're going to create two new variables. Okay, we're going to take the residuals, which were right, uh, so I'm going to call resid two, which will be our Y residuals. And we're going to square it. That way there's no negative numbers now. And we're also going to do this with our model, but we're going to do it in a little bit of a different way. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it year two. And this is going to be the year, and we're going to square that as well. Okay, and then once we have this, we'll have a data set here that has both the residual squared and the year squared. So we run this. We see in race out two, we have our residual squared and our year squared. So what we're going to do is run a quadratic regression between residual squared and year squared with regular year dropped in there. And this will give us the broich begon test or an equivalent to that. So again, we're going to use proc reg because we're going to run regression. So our data this time is equal to race out two. Okay. Uh, we're going to use our model and now our model is going to be resid2 is going to be equal to year and year two okay and then we're just going to run this and quit now what we're looking for is the overall f test on this we're not looking at the individual coefficients so just keep that in mind when we do this here real quick so we run this we're not really worried about the diagnostics we're interested in one particular p-value and that's the p-value found in the analysis of variance table we don't care about the ones on the individual coefficients. We want to know, are any of these significant, year or year squared? We don't care which one, any of them. So here we see that we have a p-value of 0 0.1931, which means that most people would declare that this does not have non-constant variance. So keep that in mind. So we would just assume that it has constant variance since we don't have any evidence to the contrary. All right, so this has shown us how to do this test in SAS. You have to combine both proc reg and a data step in order to achieve this. So this will also come up later when we look at Levine's test. Uh, it's another way to test for constant variance when you're dealing with ANOVA. All right, so let's move on to the next video.